fathers who knew what it meant for that flag to touch the ground. Men who knew that every gun in the fleet was focused on that one point, walked over, picked it up, and held it high until they died. Their bodies were removed and others took their place. What held that flag that night at that crazy angle were the bodies of patriots. Francis Scott Key wrote a poem. Oh say, can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming, the rocket's red glare, the bombs bursting in air, gave proof through the night that our flag was still there. Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wave for the land of the free and the home of the brave. The price was demanded. The debt, it was paid in the blood of patriots. Will you please stand and join me in singing our national anthem? Let us sing it low and slow and save every word. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hail as the twilight's last gleaming whose bright stripes and bright stars through the purple of fight o'er the ramparts we lost were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting Thank you, Keith. That was wonderful. We are now going to have a field cross ceremony conducted by the 1st Air Cavalry Division Field Cross Detail, assisted by Mayor Bert Steinman and Fred's sister, Sharon Zabatowski Wilcock. The narrator for this program will be Carol Carter. Good afternoon. We are truly honored to be here to take part in today's ceremony. We are the 1st Air Cavalry Division Field Cross Detail. We perform our Field Cross Ceremony to remember and honor our, our country's veterans, to remember those currently serving, and of course, to remember and honor all who have given the ultimate sacrifice of protecting, defending, and preserving our freedom. For those who are not familiar, 
The field cross was first used in World War I to mark the place where a fallen comrade was buried after a battle or skirmish. This made it easier to return and retrieve the remains for a proper burial at a later date. It was used again extensively in World War II and has been used continuously since then by our military in solemn memorial services to show respect and to honor their fallen brothers and sisters. Today we are celebrating the life of a hero, Medal of Honor recipient, Sergeant First Class Fred Zabatowski. We who are placing the items symbolizing the fallen comrade are all members of the Michael J. Novosel Medal of Honor, Capital Area Chapter 542, Vietnam Veterans of America, and or the Sergeant First Class Randall Schubert Medal of Honor, Special Forces Memorial Chapter 64. We are honoring the items making up the field cross by placing a green beret in honor of Sergeant First Class Zabatowski in place of the usual steel pot. Our flag will be laid in the place of honor by Ewing's Mayor, the Honorable Bert Steinman. A rose will be laid by Sharon Zabatowski Wilcox, escorted by Brigadier General Robert Dutko. The rose is for all who have suffered the loss of a loved one while serving in the armed forces of our United States of America. Taps will be sounded by Roger Chuppick, followed by Amazing Grace. Our Honor Guard, ODA 5212 Alpha Company, 2nd Battalion, Fort, Battalion, Fort Campbell, Kentucky. That's all please remember from John 15, 13. Greater love has no one than this, that he lay down his life for a friend. God bless America. Ladies and gentlemen, please remain seated. Ladies and gentlemen, now if you will please rise. <laughs> 